Bradford made the 30 mile trip to Rochdale where they'd already secured a victory with the Johnson's Paint Trophy back in September. The Bantams were looking for an improved performance after losing their first game under Peter Taylor at the weekend against Accrington Stanley. And that's exactly what City produced. The visitors opened the scoring after only 10 minutes through Matt Clark. The defender scored for the first time since April of last year. Rochdale struggled to get the better of Dagenham here last time out, which they managed to do only thanks to a couple of late goals. And the League Two leaders were up against it again. Gary Jones wasted the chance to draw Dale level. Tom Kennedy soon brought a fine save out of McLennan as the home side continued to look for a route back into this game. But Bradford were always a threat, following Glennon's long punt upfield. Michael Flynn tried his luck from distance, with a strike which wasn't too far away. Flynn felt the keeper had got a touch, but the referee thought otherwise. As the weather deteriorated, Rochdale finally got a foothold in this match. The home side's equaliser arrived on the stroke of half-time, courtesy of Chris Dagnall. He upped his tally to 15 goals for the season. The ball changed from white to yellow after the restart, and wouldn't you know it, the snowfall eased. Keith Hill's side began the second half with a flourish, and almost went ahead through Dagnall. Dale were then fortunate to escape at the other end, when some hesitant defending gifted James Hansen an opportunity to restore Bradford's lead. The striker scuffed his shot, though, and the chance went begging. With the game seemingly headed for a draw, Robbie Threlfall, Taylor's first signing, earned the visitors a free kick on the edge of the box after going over Nathan Stanton's right leg. There were only ten minutes to go when Threlfall's supreme effort put the Bantams back in front. The Liverpool Loney had marked his debut with an outstanding goal. And City put the result beyond doubt by adding a third three minutes from time. Threlfall was again involved as Hanson nodded the ball down for Gareth Evans to blast the ball past Frack Fielding and make the final score 3-1. Rochdale went down for their first home defeat since November. What made it all the more surprising was that it came against a side who managed to secure only their second win in ten league games.